If the PWR has had its day, what could come next? We don't have to go far to find out. This is the outskirts of Beijing, and I'm at the gate of one of the only nuclear reactors of its type in the world. It's taken months of negotiation, but hopefully I'm about to be allowed in. Kept under wraps inside this innocuous box at Tsinghua University is a Chinese prototype reactor that researchers claim is uniquely safe. This reactor currently is the only paper bed tested reactor in the world. When Professor Wu Zhongjin started nuclear research in the early 60s, water-cooled reactors were all the rage. So were the hats. The pebble bed reactor he runs now oh, is, is radically safe. different. This is the safe <laughs> yes, part. Oh, okay. This the vessel is for steam generator. This vessel for reactor. Because instead of fuel rods, his reactor is filled with 27,000 of these, the nuclear hey, pebble. No problem. <laughs> Luckily, they're built strong enough here to be dropped 50 times before they break. Each pebble is a perfect graphite sphere filled with specially coated particles of enriched uranium. So these are the radioactive particles, the, the heart of the fuel. Uh, yeah, heart fuel here. And outside, we coat it to four layers. 8,000 particles inside a hollow sphere means that each pebble works like a mini reactor. The pebbles are recycled around and through the core. Uh, it's the fission energy produced yes, okay. in the core. Its high running temperatures are more efficient for generating electricity. Because these reactors use helium gas for cooling instead of complicated plumbing, they should also be safer to operate. Yeah. That is very different from other reactors where it's water under pressure. Yeah, 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 yeah. So this, this is the feature of the reactor. Yes. Is the helium for the cooler, coolant. That's very different. Because we... It all leads to a daring safety test that would be unthinkable in any other power plant. For this reactor, I think basically we can prove it is a matter-free reactor. The professor invites scientists from around the world to watch what happens when you deliberately set up an accident by switching off the cooling system. That sounds like a dangerous thing to do in a nuclear reactor, to get it running, get it critical, and then turn off the cooling system. Yeah, 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 sure. It's very, very dangerous. It's the, it's of course. What they do here is exactly what causes catastrophic meltdowns at water-cooled reactors, as happened at Chernobyl and Three Mile Island. But is it dangerous here? Uh, no, no, okay, because we always, we have to some, the past we remove all the decay heat. So the reactor is able to get rid of more heat than it can actually hold in itself. <laughs> the nuclear physics inside this reactor means that the higher the temperature, the slower the chain reaction. Unlike a water-cooled reactor, the pebble bed doesn't go into meltdown. The reactor goes to sleep and the test is a success. The philosophy here is that reactor safety should rely on physics, not reinforced concrete. Safety is number one. We should avoid the nuclear accident. Do you believe pebble bed reactors are the safest form of nuclear? I think so. it's most uh, uh, recognised by the international nuclear community. So in the future, new reactors could all be pebble bed reactors? It's better not to use nuclear energy because the nuclear, you need a lot of infrastructure. You have need a lot of experienced people, so be careful. The shockwaves from Japan's Fukushima nuclear plant disaster have reverberated loudly in Germany. So much so that despite the fact that atomic energy provides nearly a quarter of the nation's electricity, it's still ready to pull the plug. RT's Laura Emmett found out what price both Germany and other EU countries might have to pay for such a bold move. Germany raises a lone voice in the EU to usher in a new era of non-nuclear power generation as Chancellor Angela Merkel vows to close all its reactors by 2022. 
but it's already created a shortfall in electricity in Germany, which in turn is pushing up prices. Germany's now importing power from France and the Czech Republic, and it's the crisis hit poorest who will pay. The higher electricity cost will quite understandable you know, project into, into the prices. And of course, who is buying the, the industrial goods, you know, who will be paying more for the electricity, will be the, the consumer, will be the people. There is no doubt about it. But the German Green Party is aiming high. We're planning that whole Europe is going to be nuclear free. At the moment, 13 of 27 nations in the European Union don't have any nuclear plans, so it's a lot, and we want to make them get off at the time, maybe 2030, and then everything's free. Here in the heart of the EU, there's consternation that such a big decision should be taken unilaterally by Germany, seemingly as a panicked reaction to the Fukushima disaster. But the fact is, Europeans are all in this together. If there's a nuclear accident, for example, in France, Germans won't be immune just because they're not involved in nuclear power anymore. And a German shortfall in supply will mean higher electricity bills for all European families, not just Germans. Laura Emmett, RT, Brussels. Yesterday, the House of Representatives passed a historic piece of legislation that will open the door to a clean energy economy and a better future for America. For more than three decades, we've talked about our dependence on foreign oil. And for more than three decades, we have seen that dependence grow. We've seen our reliance on fossil fuels jeopardize our national security. We've seen it pollute the air we breathe and endanger our planet. And most of all, we've seen other countries realize a critical truth. The nation that leads in the creation of a clean energy economy will be the nation that leads the 21st century global economy. Now's the time for the United States of America to realize this too. Now's the time for us to lead. The energy bill that passed the House will finally create a set of incentives that will spark a clean energy transformation in our economy. The disaster in Japan served as an example of the serious dangers associated with nuclear power plants. Why all of a sudden did they raise this level to the highest level, the level 7? In addition, radiation is now seeped into the Pacific Ocean. But what if there is a nuclear energy source that is safe, green, and abundant? Some say thorium is that source. Lightbridge, based in Virginia, is now testing this next-generation nuclear fuel in Russia. Seth Gray is the CEO of the company. It dramatically reduces the amount of waste that comes out of the reactor, reduces the toxicity of the waste coming out of the reactor, and doesn't produce any weapons-usable materials. It's estimated that thorium is three times more abundant than uranium, the element currently used in nuclear plants. And scientists say there's so much of it that it can produce more energy than all the world oil, coal, and uranium combined. Sounds like the alternative energy source the world needs. Cochran says the U.S. needs to change its energy policies in order to make thorium more attractive to businesses. They would have to have a different fee structure than the current one to encourage uh, the development of thorium fuels. Nations everywhere are racing to develop new ways to produce and use energy. Well, I think in the coming years you'll start to see more testing, more results, more industry interest. I think most of the industry interest in using thorium in reactors is from outside the U.S. And with testing underway in Russia, China, and India, the United States may lose the race and find itself behind the curve when it comes to energy innovation and the jobs it would create. From Washington, Liz Wall, RT. So um, I'm encouraged by your... your discussion of you know, restarting nuclear, are you considering or are any of the grants considering a thorium cycle, which seems to have the potential of reduced uh, environmental footprint and uh, byproducts? We're looking at thorium, but not, not in the RPE grants because it doesn't have, you know, RPE is quick hit, you know, in a couple of years, is the private sector going to pick it up or, or is it such so innovative that perhaps other funding uh, agencies can pick it up, uh, but but certainly we're looking at more advanced development within the normal nuclear en engineering programs of the Department of Energy, including thorium. The Soviet Union is actually looking very hard at thorium as well. It's so energy dense that you can hold a lifetime supply of thorium energy in the palm of your hand. Now, in other news, an obscure metal that could energize our wor world. It's called 
thorium, it's eco-friendly, and there's lots of it. Many scientists say it could even replace uranium as a nuclear power source. Artie's Laura Emmett explains why. We all use energy, but at what cost? Energy security, why many modern wars are fought. The oil's running out, and there doesn't seem to be a viable alternative in sight. But unbeknownst to most, there's an energy source that's clean, green, and abundant all over the globe. Thorium's a nuclear fuel, and its supporters believe it'll change the world. Conflicts that we see today based around energy could go away, and that these energy sources that I'm talking about, which don't emit carbon dioxide or, or greenhouse gases and don't produce dangerous waste, could enable us to have cleaner water, cleaner air, and less intrusion on our environment from energy production. A ton of the silvery metal produces as much energy as 200 tons of uranium, or three and a half million tons of coal. The amount of thorium that it would take to provide all the power to run your entire life is about the size of a marble that big. A group working on thorium in the UK says it hasn't managed to get the British government on board so far, so it's looking to cooperate with countries like Russia. For several years now, a Russian physicist has been proposing to build thorium power stations. But uh, I think if they truly understood the potential of thorium, then, then they would uh, realize that it's a good investment. Research on thorium was largely halted in the middle of the last century after a uranium-powered reactor was designed. Many believe thorium also fell out of the spotlight because making a bomb out of it is thought to be almost impossible. Since 2007, cities from London to Sydney have held Earth Hour, turning the lights off to save energy. Proponents say if thorium power became a reality, we could turn the lights back on with confidence. Lights will guide.